everyone and welcome to a relaxing but chatty wintry long play the first of this kind I've done on this channel we are in this winter biome actually the whole world is snowy and wintry today I added a mod it's called snowy and it makes everything snow when it would usually just rain so I'm hoping that we can build in a cherry grove but that it'll actually be snowing so it'll give kind of like late winter early spring I don't know interesting vibes but um, this is basically because it's December and I know that a lot of you guys who are watching are in the Northern Hemisphere and it is winter for you at the moment. So I was hoping I could give some of those winter cozy vibes for you even though it's summer here for me. Because New Zealand is, it do be like that. Southern Hemisphere, you know. But this is a brand new world so we've got a lot to explore, a lot to get set up for ourselves and also we need to build ourselves a house. But as always in Minecraft we start with the basics, punching a tree, getting a crafting table and getting some tools. And we'll see if, is there any stone around? Any cobble? It did take down that whole tree, yes it did. I don't want to leave floating trees. Uh, let's see. Oh, how did this happen? Sugar cane. You know, we probably don't even need that. Let's have a little look around. This is so fast on the ice though. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's some stone over there. Isn't this all pretty though? I feel like winter biomes are kind of underrated. Oh, there's a cherry grove right there. Okay, well... That's good. I was hoping that we could build in a cherry grove but in the snow so I did have a look at the seed in advance to kind of know what the biomes are but I don't know exactly where they are. So that's nice that we found it. Um, This looks kind of dodgy. Also the copper. Why is the copper like that? We're using different shaders so it could be that or it could be the combo of the shaders and Mizunos maybe? But yeah, we are using Mizuno's texture pack today as well, which I really love this texture pack. I tend to usually go with vanilla, but this is probably my favorite texture pack if I'm going to use one. Um, let's see. Wait, hold on. We need more sticks. <laughs> sticks and then pickaxe and a sword, I guess. We're on easy mode, um, so there are mobs. But, oh gosh, that was not good parkour. There are mobs, but hopefully they won't be too much trouble. They probably will be, honestly, because we don't have armor. I see a zombie and a creeper. That's good. Should we get the monster hunter achievement? Let's give it a go. Monster hunter! And then I'm gonna just stay away from you and we'll keep getting stone. Oh, I kind of love the snow in Minecraft. Do you see all the different snowflake particles? It will probably stop snowing at some point but I have it on to start with. Okay we need to go diving. I guess we'll just start with kind of exploring. Um, what did I need again? We needed an axe. And then, should we make a furnace? I'm sure we'll need one. And then we'll get some coal and iron, I guess, when we say it. I don't really see any. Should we have a little... Oh, there's a room portal. Uh, and a spider and some coal. Okay, and there's a creeper. That's nice. It would be nice to get a little bit of armor. Um, what do we do about you? You're kind of making me nervous. Oh, hmm. What do we do with you? Okay, well, maybe I'll just stay over there and I can go over here. This feels unsafe. 
Um, what is that? Oh, leggings. That's really good. I wanted armor and we've got some iron and our first food. Is this a gold block? We don't have anything to mine it with. Oh, oh. <laughs> that scared me more than I should have. I saw the hole, but I didn't see that there was water in it. I thought I was going to fall to my death, but we're good. We're safe. It is fine. Let's just get out of there for a second. And what do we get? This isn't... Oh, this is enchanted? What? What the heck? What are the chances of that? I don't know. Like, we're not going to need this. I mean, unless we do. We don't have any food, which is kind of funny. What if we just ate it? Would you guys all be mad at me in the comments? We still need coal though. I'm gonna... Let's just... Oh, there's coal right here. Okay. It works. Ask for coal and you shall receive. And then we'll also want iron again. Yes, I don't know. I haven't seen any yet. Even though we're in the side of this. Is this a mountain? I don't know. Wherever we are. Oh, maybe. Okay, we need food. And I see a pig. So. I'm sorry, pig, but. Hello. Oh, you're so cute and goodbye I'm so sorry what if we get these cows I think we should do that cows oh, it feels so brutal every time I'm sorry but oh, there's another one I wish that we didn't have to or like, we don't have to. I wish that we weren't encouraged to kill the animals in Minecraft as much. It feels kind of brutal. It took me a long time to be okay with it, to be honest. I did not like the sounds they make when they die and I don't know, it's just kind of sad. And it's also kind of like confrontational because then I think about my meat eating in real life. Oh gosh, he's an enderman. What are you doing? Okay, well we need the steak. So we will eat it. Okay, I just had to log out because I just realized, okay, there's two things. One is that we really need a bed because it is time to sleep. But the other is that I was in my castaway skin this whole time, which is so annoying because it's so summery. It's kind of funny though, like wearing a summery island skin in this weather. But yeah, we need a bed really badly. I'm kind of bummed that we were in our castaway skin though. That's like, ah, uh, I don't usually do that and make that mistake, but I guess because we weren't really doing like this first person view, I didn't notice. Um, what is, oh, that is the portal. Okay, we need to find sheep. We're gonna get like killed by the mobs. All of the night mobs. Let's go up to the cherry grove. Oh, my phone just went off in the background. Did you guys hear that? I hope not. But let's just climb this mountain. I don't know, or maybe we should, oh, there's already zombies. Maybe we should find a hole to sleep in. Oh, there's a spider. No, there's a sheep. There's a sheep. Just one, two. Please give me three wool, please. Thank you. I don't think that was three wool. Two? No, we need one more. Where is a third sheep? I do not know. There's a cow. You are the wrong animal. You must go. Sheep? Okay, I feel like... When you're looking oh there's a skeleton i thought that was a sheep i feel like when you're looking for a farm animal you get all of the others like if you want a chicken you get everything but a chicken but a chicken huh get it okay we're going up here and we're just gonna oh gosh spider spider following oh it's making gross sounds there's a little cave maybe we should go in there but i just want to find another sheep Surely somewhere in the cherry grove. Do they spawn up here? I hope so. Ah, zombie. At least we haven't found any creepers yet. Probably jinxing it. More zombies. What is that? Oh, it's a sheep. Oh, it's black. They have to be white. 
Here we go. Here's one. Please give me, I just need one more wool. Yes. Okay, we got it. We are almost safe. Nothing's following. I'm doing a bit of a panic. And sleep. And now we'll get to see, oh, creeper. We'll get to see a creeper. No, we'll get to see the world when it's not snowing. This is so pretty. I love how there's like snow on the ground here and on the top of the trees still. I think this will stay. I don't think it'll melt, hopefully. Because I want it to be like, it kind of reminds me of like early spring when the cherry blossoms bloom too early or like, I don't know, when it's still kind of wintry but there's cherry blossoms blooming. Oh, die. Oh, oh my gosh. S surprise creeper. No, thank you. I'm good. What should we do now? I feel like we should, oh gosh, find a hole. A caving hole. Oh my gosh. These like blend in with the grass. Mizunos. It's kind of evil how Mizunos are like making the creepers the, sh the same shade as the grass. Oh gosh. Well the mobs are still out. Why aren't they burning? Okay we've got some more coal. Okay, I feel like I've just been narrating what I'm doing this whole time, but maybe we should talk about the plans. I've been planning a little bit in creative mode, but I've built like kind of half of an exterior of a house. Oh, I just noticed we're kind of hungry. But I felt like I wanted to plan a little bit just because, I don't know, I want to make sure that the thumbnail will be okay with the build in it. But... I didn't want to plan too much because I want us to kind of build together. But the idea that I was going for was kind of in the cherry grove, like some kind of log cabin. So we'll need, hold on. Oh gosh. No, don't, don't. Oh, there's two of you. No, leave me alone. Please. Okay, I don't think I could talk and focus on this at the same time. But basically we're going to make a cute log cabin. I've planned about half of it and we'll need a lot of cherry wood and spruce wood and I think birch as well. The birch in Mizuno's is really cute. It's like a white, more of a white color. So we'll use that for a lot of the walls. And then spruce trim and I'm thinking um, cherry, cherry logs for the roof. Of the log cabin will be cute oh my gosh this is a lot of coal i don't actually know how much we'll need maybe not a lot but we'll get it anyway We are at the end of the cave as well, okay. Oh, I don't know if I can be bothered getting all of this. I feel like it's boring. Is this boring to watch? And I have nothing to talk about. What does one talk about while mining? It's kind of like streaming but with no chat. Okay, we've come out here. We've got our first, did we get our first iron? Did I just skim over that? 
Yes, two raw iron. Okay, that is good. I like that. We're going to go over here, though, to the spruce biome. And, oh, you know what? We should probably be killing all the cows. I'm sorry. But we're going to need a lot of spruce. I'm sorry. I feel so brutal. I'm not killing the horse. Wait, the horse doesn't even give me anyway. That's okay. It gives leather. But I feel so bad killing horses. They make a sound that it's like the worst animal sound. Like the saddest, worst scream when you kill them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't try it. Would not recommend. Where are we going though? So we want spruce wood and birch wood. So we found the spruce. We just need to find the birch. Is this just like a giant hole? Yes. Chicken. Ravine? Ravine. Um, unless there's iron, I don't think. I no, we're not going in there. Oh, I see. Do you see that azalea tree over there? I don't think we'll be needing any lush cave stuff today, but it's good to keep it in mind. Lush caves are honestly the best. I love them. Kind of like one of the best things in Minecraft. Like one of the best biomes because they've got the moss. They've got the azalea trees with the leaves and the flowers on them. I love them so much. And then axolotls and spore blossoms and glowberries. Okay, everything in lush caves is good. Oh, I see there's an oak tree. Is that a sign? Oh, birch. That's what we were looking for. I was going to say, is the oak a sign that there's birch nearby? It is. Man, we are going to run out of food. My guys. Um... That is not what I meant to place. I need to cook. And then while we do that, we're going to be a multitasking pro. Use our brain. Our two brain cells to do two tasks at once. I can probably show you guys as well. When I said the birch was white in this texture pack, what that looks like. And it's specifically the planks. So the plank, wait, no, the slabs. <laughs> the slabs are different from the planks with this texture pack. So we have these, which they're nice, they're white. But then there's these, when you put two slabs on each other. And I really like them, so we're going to use them. Oh, we got a sap playing. That's good. We'll be able to take that back to wherever we're building. Uh, let's cook mutton. And should we get some spruce as well? Look at the sky. The sky is so pretty at this time of day. Everything's like muted and pastel and like yellow as well. I love shaders. collecting the saplings and get this and then we just need to cook our pork wait why am i i'm just like automatically we don't need oak bad you can go back i mean i guess i could have just chopped that tree anyway but no no oak here only birch and spruce How is it almost night already though? Like why? The sun is setting. Where did the day go? I feel like we're not accomplishing anything here. Like all I have is an inventory of like rotten flesh and string. 
I swear everything in Minecraft takes me so long. And then I edit it to make it look like it doesn't. But it really does. Uh, let us sleep. Okay, let's, I'm just going to continue collecting wood for a little while, but let's talk about some wintry things. What is your guys' favourite foods to eat in winter or in the cold? I think food is like, it's probably one of my favourite parts of winter, getting to have lots of hot food and that it's actually the correct season for it. Because I'll like, I'll drink hot tea and like coffee and stuff all year round and have soup but it's definitely the best in autumn winter. I recently discovered um, the joys of like grilled cheese on toast with soups. I feel like that's in a lot of parts of the world that's like a very normal combination. I think I heard about it online actually because Americans talk about their like or at least I don't know I heard an American talk about their grilled cheese and tomato soup. Where am I going? Let's just keep chopping spruce. We'll worry about birch later. But yeah, I don't really like tomato soup, but I do really like pumpkin soup. So I've been having grilled cheese and pumpkin soup or like grilled cheese on toast, not a sandwich. We need another X. And what else? I have a cup of tea or two every day, but it's definitely best when the weather is cold. I can't really think of any other specific meals that I only have when it's wintry, but let me know if you guys have any good ones. I feel like comfort food is good all year round as well. Like, who doesn't love a good pasta or mac and cheese any time of the year? No, it's up too high. Oh, maybe I can get it. It's like jumping technique is very slow. I'm sure it would be faster to just pillar. How much have we got? 60. We've got like a stack. I think we need at least a couple of stacks. I am completely guessing though because I don't actually know. I know you can get mods so that when you plan builds. Oh, hello. Wait, are you a villager? No, I think you're a a normal zombie. But I know like Medica has a feature so that if you are planning your build in creative it can like tell you how many blocks you'll need for when you do it in survival. But I don't use like Medica and I don't plan things fully in creative so I don't think that'd work. I plan like half of it max. Oh, we left a thingy. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're probably never coming back here. I don't know if this will be a series or not, though. I was thinking of it as a one-off video. But who knows? We could come back and do more. It'd be cute to do kind of like a video in the same world, but like the seasons change. Maybe? Since everything in this world is wintry. Like I'm sure there's a mod that makes everything autumny. Surely. Where all the trees get um like yellow and orange leaves. I don't know about spring and summer though. I feel like spring and summer would just look like normal Minecraft. This axe is probably going to break again soon. The 
Hopefully we have enough stone tools. I'm really just running on stone tools because we have two pieces of iron. It's not even enough for like a good amount of lanterns. And I do love lanterns and builds. So we might have to get some more iron. We'll see. It'd be nice if we could completely avoid going caving though. And strip mining. I don't want to strip mine if I can help it. But like, there's been a real lack of caving holes, other than that really big one at the start that we came across. That was kind of big and intimidating. I just want like, I don't know, a noodle cave with some good loot. I think we're nearly at two stacks of spruce now. Maybe that'll be enough. And then we can move on to gathering birch. Oh, I'm not even going to bother with that. There's not that many birch trees here though. It's like mostly oak. Birch always makes me think of Gemini Tay because I know she likes birch. I actually really like birch forests. I would definitely build them one one day. If you guys could watch or could see a series from me or just from anyone in general, which is set in any one biome, which biome would it be? Lots of people build in like plains and forests, but I feel like there's a lot of biomes you never see people building in. And that could be really cool too. Like I would love to do a desert series one day. I think that like, okay, so imagine the desert, but you have a little town or city or something and it's really lush, like a lush oasis with a lot of like the lush cave blocks maybe and you could make palm trees. I think that could be really cute. I would love to do that. Oh, it's another annoying tree. Um, I'm just going to build up. What other biomes could be nice though? I mean tigers are nice, but I feel like people do build in them. And mega tigers. Mega tigers are beautiful. I built in a mesa once. Like I built a whole town. That was on a server before I did YouTube really. It was very fun but I don't think it's my favorite color palette for building like it in style it goes really well with kind of like a wild west theme which is a lot of oak wood I guess and like neutral colors and warm tones whereas I like to get some bright colors and like pinks and purples in there reds Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just half destroying this forest. We've got a few floating trees. We have, okay, two and a half stacks. And then only half a stack of birch. We still need to gather more birch. I'm gonna take this with us. Uh, we are out of space. Probably won't need that. One white wool. One arrow, no. Let's, let's go more over here. And then once we've gathered the birch, our inventory will definitely be very full. So we'll need to go find, I guess, our spot to build and put down a chest to put some stuff in. Um, there's not actually trees over there. But yeah, I'm excited to find our building spot and actually start building. I think it's going to be fun. Oh, we'll need glass as well. Sand. Ooh, that got framey for a second. Did you guys see that? I don't know why my PC does that. It's especially when new chunks are rendering, like for the first time. It can get 
pretty bad. But my graphics card is like decent. So, I don't know. I don't know enough about computers. beautiful this is the sky and the ice all the blue colors goes together so pretty and in the morning it's all pastels it's so cute i love it uh let's see how we're doing nearly a stack of birch that's honestly maybe enough because most of it's going to be turned into planks Actually, all of it. We're gonna need more food soon. Oh, here's sand. I wanted sand. I didn't make a shovel. Should I make a shovel? I don't need many pieces. We just need it for a few windows. I'm excited to try the glass in this texture pack. Because I know it can look really cute. I think it's um magenta glass magenta and light gray or gray or light gray I think it's light gray that we want they make really nice glass panels with this texture pack that does mean though that we're gonna have to hold on I just we just need to get rid of some stuff I'm getting rid of the sugar cane one diorite why do we even have that but we might need some new tools too. Actually, why do we still have our wooden tools? Tell me that. Do you guys organize your hotbar nicely? Or is it absolute chaos like mine? I know a lot of people want all of their like tools in the correct order and like everything in the right place, but I don't know, mine is always just chaos. If I'm building, I'll try to have the correct things in there for what I need the most. But not in any exact order. Or not the same order every time. Hmm. Wait, did I actually... I don't know if we got enough sand. I'm going to guess that we did for now. I guess it's time for us to make our way back to the cherry grove okay let's do that i think it's this way is this the way we came from i hope it is i'm a little bit lost like through here somewhere in this direction what are, oh that's my stuff What's this? Ooh. We could use this opportunity to look for iron. Maybe. Just in the stone here. This isn't a cave, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it is a cave. Okay. We have torches. There's no iron. I don't think there's any. Okay. Yeah, there's no iron. Okay. What about the other way? Maybe it's up a bit higher than we are usually. Hmm. Nope. Unless I'm blind. I definitely am blind sometimes, so that would be fair. There's a shot in one of my videos. It's um my video where I'm a mermaid. It's like Minecraft, but I'm a mermaid. And everybody points this out to me. It has like 200 and 
something cave views and there's a shot where I'm talking about how there's no diamonds and there's diamonds right in front of me and I even edited that and as I was editing I still didn't see the diamonds that I missed so as you can imagine all the comments on that video are like you missed the diamonds <laughs> and fair enough as they should be We found some iron though, so uh, how am I gonna at least just go like this? And then we can try to dig down. Ah, uh, it's only two. I miss the big iron veins. I mean, they weren't that big, but bigger than two. I feel like there used to be more in older versions of Minecraft. And now at least a lot of the exposed iron seems to be, like you often just get one piece. Are we? Are we actually just lost? Because I'm not seeing the tree biome. Oh wait, is that the horse that we saw earlier? If that's the horse, then we're good. Oh, there's so many annoying holes and ravines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We are good. Any iron? No. So sad. Oh, flowers. They'll be good for dye. Um, what do we, I can't even tell what these flowers are in vanilla. But we need magenta dye. Okay, that's red and blue. That makes purple. Getting close. Uh, we can get some more. And then, if we get some... Oh, is this light grey? Light grey is the other colour I want. Yes! I think if we mix the purple with pink from the flowers up there, we can get magenta. That wasn't enough red dye though, there was only one. Maybe there'll be more in this direction? There's more light grey. We're probably going overboard with the light grey. Any more poppies? <gasps> Cows? I am definitely going to get hung. Oh, did I just kill your mum? I'm so sorry. Or are you following that one? I'll leave that cow alone. Hello. Oh. There's more corn flowers, but oh look, there's a poppy. Poppy! And then we'll just put it straight in here. I don't see any more. Hmm. Oh, we've got the pink. It's so nice now that there's cherry biomes. How easy it is to get pink dye. It's just everywhere. Magenta! Okay, that'll be good. You can't make anything out of this, right? No, of course not. Don't be silly. Hi, bunny! Bye, bunny.
Ooh. Hello? Little cave? <gasps> Iron! Thank you, I'll take it. Oh, three. I'm scared it's dark. Oh, four. Wait, is that four? Yeah. I don't know. I lost count. My brain is not good. Okay, the sun is setting again and I feel like we need a place to live. I want to find a fairly s flat area. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I want to find a flat-ish area. And also kind of nestled into the trees, although we can grow trees, I guess. Maybe here? I don't know. We need to sleep again. Sleepy time. And we're still just gonna keep looking around for the right spot to live. This area is maybe okay, it's pretty flat. What about up here? I feel like maybe here. If you take this tree down, would that be good? Maybe? Let's just get this one. Oh, the sound of cherry wood breaking is the best. Also walking on it. It makes better sounds than the other wood. Also the nether wood now. Since um since the 1.20 update, the nether wood makes really nice sounds when you walk on it. I think that's actually my favourite. And these leaves are so much nicer to break as well. The normal ones are too loud. Got some saplings. Uh, what do we give up? Maybe our single blue dye. Let's make a little area. What should we build in here? This is a little nook. There's lots of little cute nooks. I think we'll build here. We'll make a little area over here. So crafting, oops. Crafting table. Ah. Such a full inventory. We'll do the bed. And the furnace. And then smelt some iron. And a chest. We should do a double chest. Perfect. So we've got our spruce, our birch. Uh, we might want, I think we'll want another furnace because I want to cook my sand at the same time. So we'll go like that. And we need to cook our meat as well. Uh, this is nearly done. But we are getting hungry. We have some mutton. We also definitely want to finally make a shovel. I'm 
we can start clearing out a little bit of this land. This is a lot easier if you have a bucket of water. Because then you can just put the water down. But iron is scarce and we're going to use it for lanterns. Oh, am I picking up snow? That's kind of good though. We'll be able to put some snow layers like on our roof. It'll be cute. Let's fill in this weird bit. This is a bit... Wait, can you just put dirt? Yes, you can. You can put dirt straight on snow. So we don't need to worry. Hold on. We do need to worry about that. The flowers are really cute, but they're quite a pain when you're trying to place blocks. Especially, oh my gosh, especially when you don't see them. They should just like pop up off the ground like that when you place. That would be good. Oh my gosh, just hitting the wrong buttons at this point. Okay, I skipped over a little bit of that because it was boring, but this is how it's all looking. And let's check on our iron and our glass. Um, and maybe we can dye the glass. Right, so we want some magenta and some light gray. I think probably most of it light gray. Uh, I don't know. It looks really cute though. I won't show you what it looks like put down yet because we don't have silk touch to pick it back up. But, okay. This can go in here. And I was thinking of planting, actually, oh, I was thinking of changing the weather. I think there's a way with the snowy mod. If we go into mods and config, This one and enable constant snow. Will that mean it'll be snowing? <gasps> yes, it does. Okay, this is cute. Yay. We might have to turn it off at some point. It might get annoying, but for now, I want it to be snowing. Um, But let's hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's make some shears. We're going to sacrifice two pieces of iron. And... Um, the rest will probably be lanterns, but I'll just make a couple for now. Then we'll pop the rest of our iron away. The shears are four. I want to get some spruce leaves and also probably, probably some cherry leaves as well, but we'll see. But in order to get spruce leaves, we're going to have to plant a spruce tree. We'll just put it here for now, or we could do a couple, I guess. And then, what else did we want to do? Oh, I wanted to make a hoe and plant these seeds just in case. Oh, I bet we don't have any water nearby. And if we do, it'll be ice. Does planting seeds next to ice work? I don't actually know. Oh, it's all the way down there. Maybe I can't be bothered doing that. We might just hope that we can survive on our meat. We can cook some more beef. Oh, hello? Who are you and where did you come from and can you not? Thank you. Are there any other monsters? Maybe this is like spawnable. Hmm. Not for long. Oh, it's becoming night. Okay. That makes sense. There's an arrow in me. Thanks to that very rude skeleton. He really just thought he'd creep up on me. Okay, well. 
We could light this up a bit more. Actually, just kidding, we only had two torches. Also, these little flowers, they just end up in our inventory whenever we do anything. And now what? Okay, we're giving up on the seeds. And we just need to basically chop a bunch of cherry wood now. And then I think we'll just about be ready. Oh, maybe we'd like some clay? We could go get some from down at the water. I might chop some trees first. And we will also require... We will require another axe. Or two. Because ours is about to break. I guess by the time this video comes out, I'm filming in advance, but it'll just about be Christmas. Like, maybe about 10 days away. I hope you guys are all having a good lead up to Christmas. Hopefully having a good break if it's, um, school for you. I don't really know how school holidays work in different countries. But here, people are on holidays for most of December. Because it's summer as well, so it's kind of... Like summer holidays and Christmas holidays are combined into one big holiday. Which is fun. But yeah, I hope that work or school or whatever you're doing is not super stressful and that you get a good break. Oh, hello. What the heck? Why do these guys keep appearing? Like, what is this? Where are they coming from? I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any holes for them to like crawl out from a cave. Maybe they're just spawning because it's kind of dark? I don't know. And since we are living in this area, I really don't want to leave floating trees around. So we are going to pillar up and get this one. I think we got all of the bits though. Should we get, while we're here, we'll get a couple of leaves. We shouldn't need many of these. I mostly want spruce leaves, I think. Oh, look, we missed a log. Gotta get all the logs. Any more? Oh, and we could replant. Replanting is probably a good idea. I think it was here. Cherry saplings are really funny because sometimes they just don't grow. Have you noticed that? It's like you'll put them in a spot that seems sensible and it'll just never grow. Or you bone meal it and it just uses up all the bone meal and doesn't grow. It's very odd. There goes our first axe. I think it will get no more than two stacks of this. Should be completely fine. Some of it is going to be used as logs for the roof. So we'll go through that a lot faster than planks. Since of course four planks is one log. There's so many particles in the air right now. I kind of love it. It's like a mixture of snow and um, cherry blossom particles. And also, what is that? Like those little square ones. 
They're coming from the cherry blossom tree. But I don't think those are in vanilla. Not the square looking ones. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. All of these cherry blossom trees are kind of attached at the top, so they're not going to despawn properly. There's like a long trail of them. Maybe if we take all of these down. How many do we have? Oh, we're nearly at the right amount. Or like my guess of the right amount. I often undershoot when I'm estimating what I'll need. Like if you watched my last video where I made a big palace in my Let's Play world, I definitely underestimated all the supplies for that. I got a lot of them on camera and then halfway through building the time lapse I had to like go get more of almost everything. It's kind of annoying. I think that we definitely have enough cherry logs now, but I'm kind of committed to taking down these trees that are all attached to each other. So that's what we're doing. Oh no, it's up too high. <gasps> are those pillagers? Oh no way. There's a captain. I thought I turned off raids because raids are like not cute for long plays, you know? But I guess I didn't. Oops. I usually would for long plays, not for actual let's play series. Okay, well, I think this tree is despawning. Oh no, there's still another log. I thought we got them all. There we go. I hope that's it. That should, oh, there's another one. That should definitely be enough cherry logs. Uh, where did we, here we are. Oh, these haven't grown yet. Hold on, do I have, we have bones. Perfect. This is good. Oh, is it gonna do that thing where they just don't grow? Like the cherry ones do? No! We got three more bones. Oh, here we go. Okay. Then we need our shears. And we'll just get a few leaves. Or like all of them, I guess. And you are not needed. Where are we going? Over here. Just put everything away. And okay. Um, oh, shall we make some leather boots? Just in case we end up in the snow. Like in the powdered snow. <gasps> we can dye them. Dye them pink. Love it. Cute. Okay, I think the last thing I want to get, maybe the last thing is clay pots. So we'll just need a shovel, which we have. And we need to go to water. Or ice. I guess it's all going to be ice. So we're going all the way down here. Oh, we don't want to encounter where's the pillagers gone. We want absolutely nothing to do with them. Oh, is that a big hole? There's a bit of water in there. 
Probably no uh, clay though. Copper. I kind of want whatever that is. <laughs> is it granite? a bit of a chicken when it comes to caving. I kind of prefer like the nether, the end, basically anything else. Are there any scary guys first of all? I don't think there are. At least not in the immediate vicinity. Oh, oh my gosh. Lava. I see, what is that? Oh, that's the portal. This is that hole, okay. This hole is mostly water just get a bit of this what is it it is granite I'm kind of trying to look for oh there is a piece of iron if we need it but I don't want to go all the way over there in the dark I'm scared There's iron here, but we might drown. Am I willing to risk it for lanterns? It's gonna be cutting it close. Okay, we can get one and then go up. Is anything gonna drop on me? I'm scared. Oh, there's a creeper. And then we can get another. do this one more time and we should be good just keeping an eye on the creeper every time I go up just making sure he's still there oh oh my gosh that scared me <laughs> don't drown okay we're good I didn't realize I was drowning I thought that we were getting hit by something like a zombie I don't know let's get out of here back to our original mission which is um clay 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 how do we do this so do we just break a bit and then go in and see what there is. I guess that's how we do it. What's this? Oh, I think this is clay. Yes, it is. Yay. I'm gonna break some more of this. I'm really just getting this for a couple of flower pots. So, nothing major. Oh, more iron. And hello. Drowned. I don't think we're going to get the iron. I don't know if I'll actually need it. I'm thinking no. And that should be enough clay. Yeah, that'll be heaps. So let's go back up. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything, but I think we're up to the building stage now, which is exciting. I didn't really get interior stuff. I mean, we have like 
I don't know, clay for pots. We have stuff for lanterns, but we don't have much wool. I like getting wool for paintings and carpet. But there's not a lot of sheep around. There's more like cows and pigs, so I don't know. Just gonna get a little more stone since we are going through stone tools. We've got this one sheep here. I guess you can be a painting or something. Gave us one wool. Now as we head back we need to kind of organize our stuff, put some stuff in the furnace, in the chest, get what we need. Poppies can be red dye and we cook this one mutton, wait, <laughs> this mutton. Uh, let's just start, okay. Uh, we want all of this to be, almost all of it anyway, to be these little slabies. And we can grab some spruce. I might make a few spruce fences as well, just like a couple. These. Wait. Here we go. And then what else? Oh, and maybe a stair out of birch. Because we are going to do like a little, a cute little kind of balcony out the front. So it'll be kind of like a log cabin or a cottage. And where should we start? If we start like here, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, we'll start here. Okay. And then. Um, I'm just kind of thinking about it. We'll do this. And then this can be like the front porch. Yeah. Go maybe one, two, three out. And then do this. But the actual building it will be further out than this. It'll go like over here. It's gonna snow all over everything as we're building. That's okay though. Okay, we have a little porch. Oh, let's add premature fences. Yeah. The fences are so cute. I like the birch ones in this pack too. They're so cute. Okay, actually we should extend this so that we can put fences on it. And then I'm not sure how far back do we want to go. Like one, two, and then the building starts. Let's grab more stuff because we want to use cherry wood for the build. And more spruce. And yeah. So like if we do this, I feel like I'm not very good at narrating building. I'm just like if we go like this and then we do this and go like this, it's not very descriptive. I'm sorry. Uh, so this will be an entrance, a doorway. So a good classic three wide. And we'll strip these. And we need to sleep. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we want to make a little bit more of this platform and then build out onto it. So what have we got? We've got the doorway and then we'll go like two back. 
and then we'll extend the house so one two and then this it really is snowing all over our build maybe it's time for no snow again we're really out here manipulating the weather but i don't know it's worth it uh this and constant snow Is it going to clear up? Ooh. Is it going to clear up straight away? No. Okay, I guess we'll have to sleep again, which will be a whole nother day. That's okay though. The snow is still pretty. Let's just keep going. Wait. So I think here we'll have a big, nice window. I don't know why I'm trying to remove that. And then it will go over here and then one, two, three, and another pillar. And this will be the edge of the build. Actually, we weren't going to extend the balcony. It's going to end here. Wait, I feel like something is wrong. It's this. This goes one over. Because this goes one over. And then... This goes one over. Basically I got one block wrong and it made everything wrong. Which it, it'd be like that, you know? I might use, uh, we don't have dirt on it. What is this? Oh, gray wool. Probably don't need that right now. I wanted to use a little bit of dirt though and just cover up this corner a little bit. Since it's so dark, we might as well do this already. That will brighten things up. And then, okay, this is going to be a little curvy window bay thingy. And then we will go back. One, two, three, four, five. So that is the width of the build. It's going to be pretty small on the inside, but it'll be like cute and cozy, you know? Basically, it's small in a good way, not a bad way. And then this, where the entrance is, gosh, I don't know how far, I guess it has to go further back than this, I suppose. Maybe just by one, so like, yeah. And then we go, Actually, go one, oops, two, three, and then the other pillar. Yeah, we should be good. We have a shape. And we're out of slabies. Couple of stacks. Then we might as well, I guess, okay, so we're doing the walls next. 
but we might as well prepare for the roof as well which we'll just need the frame of the roof is mostly stairs I don't know how many we'll need and then a few slabs um okay and then we'll need the rest of our spruce oh the sun I missed you son the snow has stopped which is kind of good Right, let's just assume that that is enough for now. Oh my gosh, everything is so much brighter. Wow. Who would have thunk? I kind of want the little entrance bit to be something a little bit different. So, what if we did something with this? Oh, I need the crafting table again. I think that the slabs make a cute little texture. But we'll just put it for like two blocks. Yes, this. It's kind of weird that it does this, but it's also kind of cute. It's very like, I don't know, the checkerboard kind of reminds me of like old American diner, I guess. Is that right? Did I do like door height or one more? Oh, I did one more. Wait, that's okay though. We will go like this. And then I think we're gonna, okay, we're gonna section things off a little. So, hmm, like this. And it would be nice if we had scaffolding, but we don't. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Or should we do, hold on. I think we should move all of this one out so that the overhang is like, uh, like here, like actually overhanging the spruce. But it means that we have to take all of this down and just move it out by one. If you don't know what I mean, you will in a second. So just this goes here. We really need, I feel like I need an extra couple of slots in my hotbar because when you're using building blocks, I don't know about you guys, but I use way too many to keep in my hotbar as well as the tools required. So then we have this. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, um, and this is not part of the build. Let's build up this bit. So we've got two blocks already. And then we'll do. Maybe that's too much. Just four? Let's see how this looks. Oh, and then this will be even, like a three by three. I think that'll be cute. building is so like higgledy-piggledy. Do most people build like this or do you like 
built in a way that actually makes sense. <laughs> Let's start doing the roof, which is a simple stair, upside down stair and repeat kind of thing. And then for the top we'll do slabs going across. We are intersecting this tree. I don't know if this needs to come down completely or not though. It could be nice nestled in. I don't know. Where's the center? This, this is the center. Cute, okay that side bit is nice and then we'll just do like a pointy roof up here. We can do that part now I guess, we just need a few more slabs. And we're gonna yeet our axes because they're both nearly dead. Actually, also I want to make a couple of walls and then we don't need the rest of the granite right now and we do want oh we used up all the fences I think yeah it's okay fences we just need a couple more because I want to make the little entrance or finish it off with this ah we need one more fence okay well we will do that right now Kind of a nuisance when things make like fences make three of them and you don't always need three it's actually even more annoying with doors i think it's like very much a minor first door problem but usually when you make doors you need one door and you end up with three Okay, well, should we get up the top here? I'm not really looking forward to this part because I think it's going to be quite annoying since two slabs together make a different texture than a full block. And we're going to be wanting to use this full block texture. I don't know, we'll see if it's annoying or not. But if we have one block, then we want to go like this and break that. And then maybe another, maybe a slab. And then we'll do another one temporarily and then break it. And is this, yes. And then we're in the middle. Um, what are we going to do for the middle? Ah, that made the, okay, that made the annoying texture that we don't want. So this has to be a full block, which we can do like so. And then if we mirror everything over here, we should be good. A temporary slab. 
into our full block. Oh, what if we use... Okay, this? Ah, it's up too high. I guess we can just have it lower. Okay, and while we're up here, we should go along the side all the way to the back of the building. Um, hold on. And then we do the same, of course, at the back with the roof. Temporary slab. Wait, this was not the best way to do this. It was a very roundabout way of getting it in, but it did do the trick. Oh, and we should also add our little wall. Oh, there we go. Then this side. I don't have a plan for where we're going to put the windows at the back and the side here. But I'm just going to fill in everything and then we can kind of carve some windows out. Okay, I'll have to mute that. I just sneezed. I'm sorry if you saw the like curse it just going like that. I kind of shook. <laughs> Let us sleep and then we'll keep going. Oh, it's starting to look like something. <laughs> it really needs filling in a lot more. We need more birch slabs for that though. 
Should we get out our glass as well and start putting a little bit of that in? We definitely want some to be like this. And same with this one. Okay, so I was picturing this for this area. It's kind of like, it kind of looks like a double door. Or just a big window. Hey there all. And then this will be like inwards. Aren't these windows pretty though? I wish that Minecraft, like vanilla Minecraft, had an equivalent. Like a different way to make them other than a regular glass. I think that'd be so cute. I love these. Okay, that's looking good though. So far so good. Then we'll do a window up here as well. Scaffold with our cherry logs. This is not quite right. Then should we do a little side window? Do. Just here. We'll keep it small in the end. Ooh, what should we do back here? A window here and a window here. What is this? This is not part of the build. This is why we don't usually use wood for scaffolding. It's slow, but it's also confusing. Oh, we're out of slabs again, and I just need one more. For this all, I think we're going to also make the whole thing and then carve out a couple of windows afterwards. Sometimes it's like easier to see that way. Oh my gosh, we're already out. I'm going to do this bit if it's the last thing I do. Did it. nearly out of birch but we've got a little bit left this should be just enough wait this corner doesn't need to exist it can just go like this Oh, 
I'm thinking of doing something here with a little log going across. Okay, are we ready to do, we have some cherry logs. I think we're probably ready to do the roof, like this part. So we're just gonna go along with these and we're also gonna strip them. This is definitely my favorite kind of roof to do for like a log cabin type build. Because it's like the roof is just made of straight up tree logs. Instead of like, I don't know, more smooth refined pieces of wood. We need to go one more along. Oh, no. Ah, we're going to lose this glass. I thought I had it in my axe. We could probably put that somewhere else. Okay, we're gonna have to grab more logs in a second. This is gonna be a bit of a problem because a log needs to go here, but I think this block is also visible from this side. Uh, we can't really see it, but I think it is. Yeah, it's like that bit. So we don't want that to be pink, but we also don't want it to be white from the other side. Hey, this is kind of cute. Once we have little details. Like we could add these. And put some here. That's so cute. Let's get out cherry logs and we'll make some of them into stairs and see if we can solve our little roof problem in a way that's like at least like good enough you know I just want good enough oh we could even do like a little a little thingy Okay, so what if we had a stair? It could be like a whole row. Although I don't know if it needs to be on this layer. Let's see. And then here would be a slab or we could just go with this. The spruce in the middle. And we'll connect them up. Okay, we're gonna have to sleep. Look at the night sky, it's so pretty. The mobs are gonna come out though.
And now we just have to finish the roof and add the details. Hopefully that won't take too long. We might be a little low on, oh, we have 45 more cherry logs, okay. We are not low on cherry logs. And then we'll do this little stair thing over here. This is very peaceful and relaxing. I kind of like talking now that we've gotten into it a bit more. Usually I do no commentary long plays. So I was a bit nervous for this, but it is quite nice. It's quite relaxing. I don't think I'm very good at talking while building though. Definitely not. Like, I don't think I could hold a conversation about anything other than what I'm doing. My brain is just not that advanced. But well, we've done all of the roof now. Um, do we have, oh, we have some spruce leaves. So we can kind of spruce it up. Haha. <laughs> Get it. And then we might do like a chimney. Here. We can just use cobble because it looks kind of nice in this texture pack. Um, do we have trapdoors? Yes. We'll just need to make a campfire. But we'll do trapdoors on four sides for the top of the chimney. And then we break the cobble. And we have a chimney, minus the smoke. But what else? Let's add a couple more of these to make it a little more interesting. And we might do stairs, like we could do a layer around the middle, like one, two, three. Look here. Actually, embedded in. I usually forget to do little trims like this in roofs. But I really like them, especially since this is not a gradient roof, so it's just all one colour. Usually I make my roofs more interesting by doing it some form of gradient. But when you're not doing a gradient, you can use little things like this and like the chimney and the leaves just to make it look a bit more interesting. Yeah. I think that is cute. We could probably do some more of these in the back. Oh, we didn't add windows. What should we do here? Just like one like this? We could have a little window sill, and we have uh, these. A lantern? Then we'll use our other pink trapdoors for the front here, I think. We can also have some leaves like this. And we'll pull her up to do a couple up the top. That'll do. Then we need a fence on top of this wall to make it really pointy. OK, 
gonna have to make one. Uh, our inventory is getting very full. Oh, we can make the campfire as well. If we have everything. Yes, we do. to finish off the chimney perfect I love the smoke it adds a bit of life because there's not many things in Minecraft that are animated like that it's very cute okay how is it looking it's sort of hard to see because uh, the land like goes down like it's hard to get a good angle on it maybe if we build up a little bit it's looking cute we might add a couple more trap doors to the sides here and what else obviously we need a door but I think it's just about done from the outside We could add some more snow layers to the roof because there's a couple here but it could be cute to have more we have only nine snow wait how does snow work can you make snow layers i'm forgetting oh okay and then you need three of those so I guess we need some more snow for that. This isn't working. What gives snow? Is it the whole block? Am I going crazy? Do you have to use a shovel? Maybe it's that. We have a shovel. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Don't mind me. It's my first day here in Minecraft. Ever. Because clearly I don't know anything. Uh, inventory full. And then it was like this. And it gave us 12. That should do it. So we just kind of want to layer them a little bit here. It's mainly this bit that's like visible. Oh, that was it. I guess that'll do. 12 snow layers does not go very far. How's that looking? Yeah, that's cute. Just a little bit of snow on the roof. Then we'll do uh, this. And we have some clay smelting or smelted. So we can make some flower pots and put spruce saplings in them for a wintry look. Cute. 
Okay. How's that inside looking? Probably, yeah, completely a bit of a mess. We'll take this down. Uh, we need lighting in here before something spawns. But I kind of, I don't want to hang things straight off the roof. We'll just do one here for now. Uh, I don't think we need this. And we don't need all this snow. Shall we make a front door? That's kind of the final exterior thing. Of course, we're going to do it with cherry wood. And it will pop it in this way. Oh, this is so cute with the little flowers. I like it. So here is our little house exterior. It's so cute. And of course we don't need two more doors. What we do need is the rest of our birch. Or the floor. Oh and these bits too. It's kind of like dug into the bank. So I did not notice that this would need doing it from the outside. Just thinking think we'll do a crafting table here and we can make this into like a little workstation area but we'll finish off the floor okay and then we need to clean up the roof I think what we'll do is just a section it all off so hold on This bit's kind of annoying because there's a window, but maybe it won't be noticeable from the outside if we just block it up. And nearly done. There we go. And now we can get this. Why is this so slow to break? But we can actually hang lanterns from the ceiling. Okay, that'll be cute. I like it. We might want a little bit more lighting. But that is good for now. What are we doing with this section? It's a little bit funky. Maybe if we just have like shelves. And then we can put things on the shelves. That'll do for now.
then this will be like a little area although we might have like a furnace or something then where should we put chests we want an area for our bed and an area for chests maybe chests go just along here and then our bed goes at the end Oh, we don't actually have a whole lot of wood left in our chest. Oh, we've got quite a bit of spruce logs though. We'll pick up our furnaces. And we'll try pop down some furnaces and chests in the house. Oh, maybe chests should go like here. I don't really know. I think it'd be nice for a change if the pot had a cherry sapling in it since we've only been using the spruce saplings in the pots. We must have them. Am I blind? Oh there they are. Oh we also have extra flowers, the azure bluettes or whatever. Oh it makes it blue. That is interesting. What about this one? Does this change the colour? No. Okay. Oh, I really like this one. It's very cute. Oh, maybe we should dye our bed. Pink bed. Does it give a cute, like, bed spread? It looks like it does, it's like a checker pattern. That is so cute. We'll do like a bed head and a bedside table. Or should we make a double, I can't make a double bed actually. We don't have the wool, I don't think. Honestly, I think this place is going to be decorated a little on the sparse side just because we're going to kind of use what we have and that's it. I think that is how we will do this. It'll be like a classic a good old starter house from an episode one. You know the vibes? It would be nice if we had like a carpet to add, but I'm pretty sure we don't have the wool. 
Where is... We have one grey wool, which is just enough for a painting. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else of use in here. I don't know. Maybe not. But we'll find a spot for our little painting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like pop art. What is this? Oh, it's like a giant notice board. That is way too big for that spot though. That is more the correct size for what we're after. Oh, cute. What if that kind of thing went here? We might have to block off the side. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see what else. Nope. I kind of want this one, but not in that position. Ah, it's a chicken. It's only giving me the long ones. There we go. That was a lot of effort. We can decorate a little bit out here with some of the extra flowers. We're really close to being done. Let's just do a clean up. Oh no! This can be the chest for plants and flowers. Oh, and should we do a little food barrel? Food and mob drops? I'm so tempted to eat this apple because I don't know, I don't think I'll be back in this world. This is so cute though. Should we do it? Should we eat the apple? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever eaten one of these before. This seems so unnecessary. Wow. <laughs> it gave us so many effects. Regen, absorption, resistance, fire res. Wow, these are so good. What the heck? I think I have one in my Let's Play world, but I just feel like there's never a situation where I need to eat it. Okay, let's start to wind up though. This is a lovely little starter house, so I am happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you want anything similar to this or... I don't know just what else you'd like to see in future and merry christmas as well if you celebrate or happy holidays or whatever bye bye